Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be finally opening up that Shopify website. We are going to be going through it together. I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to try and make this video too long. I think I'm going to split them up into separate videos so that you're not sort of sat there watching like a three hour long video of me setting this up. But basically guys, this is my Handmade Bosses website. This is where I'm going to be selling my planner, which if you don't know is coming out very, very soon. Um, this is going to be where I'm going to uh, host my shop critiques, not host them, but basically sell them, I guess. One-to-one -one coaching, I'm going to be giving a link to the course. Basically, everything you need to know about me, this is going to be like the home hub. So rather than like YouTube, Pinterest, different places, Facebook group, blah, blah, blah it's going to be all on one website. And this is going to be hosted through Shopify, mainly because they're um they are amazing and i will go through that in the video um in a second for you but they are literally my go-to e-commerce website and they're not just e-commerce as well you can natively host the blog post in there links to external websites the whole shebang so i'm super super excited to basically go through this with you um i cannot freaking wait i'm so excited so what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip you around i'm going to take you into my computer and we are going to set up this website together Hello everyone, so it's an exciting day today. I am literally gonna go through me setting up my new Shopify website. And this website is for the Handmade Bosses Planner, which is probably the first time I've actually announced that, to be honest. <laughs> I might have announced it before. Um, this is basically the website that is gonna become the new Handmade Bosses website. I did have a Squarespace site before, um, I found it very clunky. I didn't really find it very good. It was quite expensive. I um, mean, it was just a blogging site. Whereas this, I am going to use to obviously sell my planner, sell my one to one coaching eventually when it does launch. And also, I can blog natively on the platform as well. I already have a Shopify site, which is my jewelry web store, which does partner with my jewelry full time Etsy store that I have. And if you don't know, you can find out more about me on my channel and have a little look on there. So, I am super excited. I am so happy that I can finally get on with this. Um, I'm probably going to split this video up into a few different ones. I think this might be a while, but I'm literally going to walk through because you guys requested it exactly what I'm going to do to open up my new site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to start free trial and then I'm going to literally enter my email address and password. So I'm just going to pause the video just while I do that really quickly. So here we go. I've just literally whacked that in there. I've got my username all sorted out. Um, and yeah, I've just literally gone on to start a free trial like any other person would. I don't get any, you know, any um, extras or anything like that <laughs> for being an Etsy coach, nothing. I just literally go on to it as if you guys would. So are you already selling? Um, I'm, I, well, this is, so good. Uh, there you go. <laughs> what is your current revenue? Um, well, with the web, web, the web store, I'm just getting started. Uh, what industry will you be operating in? um what shall i do um i guess other maybe um so i don't click that because i'm doing it for myself so i do next and then i'm just gonna very quickly again pause the video just while i literally put in this private information just so it's not all over the internet <laughs> there we go we're all done and just very very quickly i'm going to try not to edit this video too much i'm just going to keep it relatively so if i you know, if it's not very like cleanly edited, I'm just literally going to show you how real it is to make a store rather than me kind of, you know, do it through uh, how, what they say, rose tinted glasses. This is literally just me doing this. So there we go. We're all done. We have our store. That was so, so freaking easy. What are we like two minutes in? So, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I don't have an actual plan in mind strictly but I know I want to set up the theme and everything first. So what we do is we go on to online store and how it kind of works is it has your sales channels down here. So if you have a Facebook store, Instagram store, and let me just go on to add and you'll see exactly, you know, you've got eBay here, Messenger. Um, there's loads that are 
applicable to shops in the US. I'm based in the UK, so unfortunately, um, I would really love this, but they just don't have it for me. Um, but they do have loads here for you, um, especially like the eBay one is really, really good if you want to sell on eBay and Amazon as well. Um, obviously, I can't get that right now, boohoo. But um, yeah, so that is kind of the amazing thing about Shopify is that you can manage everything in one platform. Now you have the home button, obviously you have orders. When your orders come in, you have products to manage your products. Customers, manage your customers. Analytics, which are pretty limited, I would say. I use Google Anal Analytics myself. Um, obviously there's nothing just because we've, I've just opened the store, give me a chance. <laughs> um, you get reports, live view and stuff as well. So this is quite good for my other store because I can literally live see who is looking at my store. It's just quite cool. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Marketing is quite a handy tag because you have loads of different things you can do. You have abandoned car emails. They give you other like ab uh, ads, apps and things like that. Shopify are so good at teaching you how to use it, um, how to get more customers in, and all sorts of things really that they wouldn't otherwise kind of need to, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, they are really, really good at kind of getting that down. Their customer service is stellar. It really, it's probably the best customer service I've ever had from any online platform, to be honest with you. Um, I, re I remember way back when, when the GDPR thing came in and I was like, oh my goodness, how do I do this? And they literally did it for me um, for free. They literally was like, don't worry, we'll give you a hand. We'll tell you what apps to use. We'll install them on your store. All you need to do is this, this, and this. And, the, and like the people were so helpful. So I'm, I'm just going to say that to me, Shopify is always the way to go. Always, always, always. And that's why I'm hosting it now or rather doing this now. Um, campaigns, you can manage your marketing campaigns, you can run um, Facebook ads, Shopify email, um, Snapchat, there's all sorts of things you can do from here, which is amazing. And I have heard that Facebook ads from uh, direct from Shopify do perform better and I have tried it myself and they actually do. I don't, I don't, don't know why they do, but they do. Um, so yeah, if you wanna do Facebook ads and you have a, shop, a Shopify store, I would recommend doing it through there. It's just a lot easier as well. Uh, automations, um, da, 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 da. I think this is quite a new thing actually. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not in my shop, Shopify store like every, every, every day, I'm really not. Um, I have set it up in a way that means it's all automated. I don't really have to do anything apart from fulfill the orders. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, um, I don't, I'm not in my shop every, every day or every week even. So some things will be new to me as well. So we'll go through this together. Uh, but also as well, at the bottom of every page, there's like, you can learn more about something. So if you're not sure, it gives you like a full on breakdown as to, you know, how it is, how it works, what it is, etc., etc. Discount is where you can add your discounts and promotions, nice and easy to find. And apps, this is, oh, this is the best thing about Shopify. So the Shopify app store is amazing because it's literally like the app store for your phone, but better because you can make money. <laughs> Um, so you click on that, it will take you directly to the app store and there's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of apps that you can add to your Shopify store and it, oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Um, I love the, shop, the Shopify app store. I can spend hours just, you know, it's all sorts of things like um, 3D uh, photo things where you can literally make your product photos 3D and you can like turn them around, they're everything like that. You have um, email m marketing, you have store design. So if I just click onto that very quickly. Um, page fly free page builder. So if you want a different page builder, free shipping bar, ultimate sales boost, best currency converter. This is one that I use in my other um, store. Um, sales pop up. Uh, web push so if you want people to like get a little thing up here when you add a new product you can add that into your store abandoned cart recovery so really it's you know like seo booster and that's free as well um free trust bag so what i would say is that a lot of of apps are free a lot of them you do have to pay for but you do get a free trial I would say as long as you remove it before your free trial is up for the app, it's fine. It is pretty like you can see easily um, how to, you know, when your free, your free trial is up, if that makes sense. If you go onto the app bit here, it would come up with like a whole list of apps. 
um, and it will say next to it, uh, your free plan is up on the, I don't know, the 5th of May, something like that. So yeah, really, really awesome. Right now though, I am in the design stage. I'm gonna go on to my online store. You have blog posts. You can add your blog posts in here. Um, now it will say that your um, store is password protected. That will go away when you select a plan. So your store is not live when you are in the trial version. It is password protected. P people can still discover it if you give them the URL and they can still access it if you give them the password. But see, if I click disable password, it will take me straight to um, this page, which means I have to pick a plan. You have pages, which is where you can literally make a page. So um, you can add any page you like. Uh, I wouldn't really bother with this too much unless you're adding like a contact page. But it's like if you want to add a page about like here, a sizing chart, frequently asked questions, how to return your item. It's just a page that Shopify may not provide you already and they do provide you with a lot. So if you go to this settings area down here and you go on to, let's say for example, checkout, um, you can literally go through and edit everything really when it comes to how people will check out from your shop. Navigation as well is uh, obviously how people will navigate around your store. So I'm gonna gradually go through everything. I need to get this store up pretty smartish. So I am gonna be working quite quickly. So don't sort of worry. You can, um, you know, sort of, what's the word? Um, 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 pause it. That's Why was that so hard for me to know? <laughs> you can uh, pause it and um, yeah, just kind of work from there really. But for now, I'm gonna go on to the free themes. Um, I have free themes. I have a free theme, that's hard to say, free theme on my jewelry store. The free themes are amazing. Yes, they can be basic, but to be honest with you, basic always wins when it comes to um, e-commerce. I do feel like the more complicated you go, the more that people get a little bit freaked out by it and they kind of just go, no, like I, I, I don't really, you know, I don't know what they're on about. I'm just gonna click off of the page. So what I would say is that simple usually is better. I know what a lot of these things look like because I've, I've tried them before. I'm thinking maybe this one. Um, if you, if I, you can add it to your theme library. It doesn't mean that um, you have to change it. So what it'll do is it will add it down here and it will come into your theme library. So the great thing about it is that you can edit any theme you like um, without physically changing your store. And then when you are ready for it to be changed over to, the, to, to that theme, you then literally just change it over. Um, so if I do action and then publish, that will whack it onto my current store. But I'm gonna go on to customize. I'm gonna see, um, you could literally, again, spend hours going through the themes and everything like that. So this is what my pretty basic <laughs> store is looking like right now. Um, so as you can see, it's already pretty much built. Um, I know that the colors aren't what I want and obviously the logo is not what I want and everything is not quite what I want. But you have a store like pretty much ready built. You even have like what payments you will do, um, copyright down here, get in touch and use it. So it is already sort of there for you. And if you wanted something that basic, you could just roll with it and just change the colors, add in your pictures and you're done really. Um, but because currently I'm only gonna be selling one product, maybe like a couple later on down the line, I don't know if something like that would be suitable really. I'm building a store that I haven't really sort of built before in regards to I'm only gonna be selling one particular product. Let's go to minimal then. Um, that looks quite good, yeah. Vintage, what's that looking like? Fashion. Um, let's add that to theme library. You do have paid themes as well, guys. So, so don't, you know, if you can't find anything on the free themes, don't worry, you do have paid themes as well. If that's more your jam. Um, I feel like quite a lot of these are more for product-based businesses, but I'm pretty set that I want the, like, the really easy menu at the top. I think that sometimes when the menus are hidden, it can make things really difficult. Um, so I'm gonna have a look at this one. No, see here, it's not suitable for me really because it's not, it's just like a one pager. So I'm not really living for that. Let's try this one. Um, I think that's quite nice actually. 
but then you, you the, the thing with this is that you have to kind of look at it and say right I would need a photo at the top that was quite plain to show off my um, menu up here whereas if you have quite a busy one it can it can be quite difficult but I'm gonna put the playful no I'm not gonna put the classic one on there. I'm gonna add that to my theme library and I think three is probably enough I think probably out of those we can we can find something um, so we just kind of did supply, didn't we? So let's just go through them all and see what's what and see whether we can have a look and edit something. Oh no, we've just done that one. Steph, what are you doing? So now we want minimal, don't we? And have a little look and see. And I'm going to actually try and open these in new tabs as well, just so I can, um, let's get rid of the app store, just so I can see and compare them. Um... See, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this one because I'm thinking that I want, um, if I add a section, and, and different themes have different sections that you can add. So what I would say is before you definitely settle on one is to have a look and see if it will do what you want it to do. So I want blog posts added. So let's have a look. Okay, so it will let me do that because um, I want, primarily to start off with it is for the planner which will obviously go here with the picture um i wouldn't have a collection per se yet so this can kind of go so if i also you can um hide things to see what they look like first without actually deleting them you can obviously move them up and down i however am going to remove that section um i'm going to put the shortcut to success download um in there as well at some point so i will keep that there for a sec um featured product uh feature collection again i don't have a collection nor will i um so i'm thinking probably i will have just the one product here i will move the blog up to there uh, rich text is basically like a little text box basically um, so I will probably put that just under the slideshow and already you can kind of see it taking shape What I would say is that before you go ahead and start changing the colors and everything like that is to get a basic Rundown of what you want your store to look like the great thing about it as well is that you can visually see what it will look like on mobile by clicking this button here um, this is desktop this is mobile so it's super handy that is something that Squarespace does not have so I am super pleased with that um, a lot of the free thing, I say like 90% of them are uh, mobile responsive as well, which means that they will uh, respond well to um, having a smaller screen, basically the mobile screen. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm going to edit it on the big screen so far. Now, what I would say is theme settings um colors i'm trying to find where to edit the logo to be honest with you i can't remember quite where to edit it um header logo there we go right so i've just uploaded my logo so there we go that is up there so um oh no i've just done a thing okay yeah <laughs> so it will always keep your um uploads here as well so you don't have to do it over and over again what I would say is that every sort of time you make a change, just click save. You don't publish it yet um, because this, this is actually editing a theme that isn't put onto your web store, if that, if that makes sense. So right now, let, let me just explain that a little bit better. Um, so this is the minimal theme. So um, the, de the debut theme is actually live on our site right now, whereas we are editing the um, minimal theme. So, or is it the Brooklyn theme? Let me have a look. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. Um, no, I'm editing the Brooklyn theme, ignore me. So that is the theme in like another tab and this is the other um, theme that is actually live on my site. I hope I've explained that okay. But basically we can do whatever we want on this and our customers won't see it essentially. So you can also do custom logo width as well. So if you want it super, super big, then that you can do that. But what I would say is make sure that it looks okay on mobile, which this does. Um, now, I don't know how I feel about the logo being black while everything else is white. Um, 
I guess it kind of depends on what picture is going to go here. So that does kind of decipher quite a lot of it. I haven't actually got the photography yet. I don't know, to be honest, if I'm going to have to do it myself, whether I will literally get time to do it, um, to send it off to my photographer. I don't know if I will have time to do that. So I think looking at it, I think I'm going to have to maybe do it myself, which, which is fine. It's just with the current si si situation, um, w w which I do know, I don't mean COVID. I mean, <laughs> the fact that we are having our house completely redone. So um, there is literally nowhere apart from my office and even that is full up with stuff. So I don't know how the light's going to be, but I'm just going to have to roll with it. I think I'm just going to have to wing it. Um, I might get chance to send uh, one off to my photographer and kind of say, can you do this ur urgently? I don't know, to be honest. Um, I will probably email her straight after this to be frank with you and see whether, whether she can fit me in really, really quickly. Uh, if not, I will sort something out as we always do. Okay, so right now um, I think I'm going to go to the navigation bar because I'm looking at that and I'm thinking we haven't got a catalogue, home is pretty obvious. So I'm going to go on to the navigation um, main menu. I'm going to have a little look at that. The good thing about this is that you can literally click and drag it under something else. If I add a menu item, um, if I do something like about Steph um, link, you can do it to a page. What I'm going to do is I am going to do it to a page, but there isn't any pages yet. So, right. What I'll do then is I'll cancel that. I will go to the pages option. And I want to add something about me because obviously people coming on to my uh, website will want to know more about me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, about Steph. I'm going to leave it blank for now. And I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go onto here, add menu item um, about Steph. Page here, you can, you can select anything here. You can do policies, blog posts, pet, uh, blogs. Uh, pages, products, collections, search, or homepage. I'm going to do pages and I'm, it's not done it, has it? Okay, maybe I need to refresh it then because that seems sensible, doesn't it? <laughs> um, let's try this again. So, uh, pages, about stuff, there we go. So now, if I save that quickly, what that should do is if I refresh this, which is fine to do, by the way, as long as you've saved it, then hopefully at the top it should say about Steph there. So you kind of see how we're building that menu out. So what I'm thinking is we don't need catalogs. I'm going to delete that. Um, what I would like to have thinking about it is I'd like to have, if I just refresh that again quickly, just so we can see what it looks like right now. Um, what I would like to have is I'd like to have um, maybe about Steph, shortcut to success course, um one-to-one -one coaching um and then the planner uh neither of which i have got yet <laughs> so um what i am going to do though is i am going to uh create a menu item and i'm going to go um the course something like that because i don't really want um something like that so what I'm going to do is rather than going because you can't go direct to a link here which I did not know actually so um I think the best way to do it then is to go to a page again so what I'm basically trying to do is I am trying to add a page where it tells people about the shortcut to success course so I'm going to go to the course um, I'm just going to go get the course link. So I've got the course link here. Um, so this is my course sales page, which is hosted on Teachable. So I'm going to go onto the page. Um, and what I'm going to do is I think actually to keep this condensed, because obviously when we're doing that, we don't want it to be like a massive long menu. Um, so what I would say is to probably maybe do work with me instead and have like a little drop drop down menu so i will do that um so i'm just going to put you can find the course uh there we go <laughs> course here 
And you can also, the great thing about it is that on edit website SEO um, is that you can edit anything. So for SEO purposes, the shortcut to success Etsy course. Um, 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 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, you can find reviews of the shortcut to success course here as well as more information. Because what I'm thinking is that people might be Googling short, shortcut to success course or Etsy course or, so, or something like that. So you can kind of see that straight off the bat you wanna start thinking about when you're making your pages, just take two minutes just to edit the SEO just so that if people were to type in um, 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 shortcut to success Etsy course reviews that they will be taken to this page if that makes sense. I can actually show you in a couple of days time that working. Um, it can take quite a while so I don't know if I'll be able to show you straight away but if I was to google the shortcut to success Etsy course review um, when this website goes live you should be able to see that page. So just sort of think about how that would work and actually I'm gonna I didn't do that very well because you can actually add a, so this is like the, how you edit the text. I'm gonna add a link in here. I'm gonna go in a new window as well, because who, uh, who else here thinks it's super, super annoying um, when um, you click on a link and it, it does it in that same tab, so you've like just lost your, pet, your place. I always do it in, in a new window because I don't wanna be annoying. Um, so that's that. I also want to make a page about my shop critiques as well. So if I do uh, shop cra, no, I cannot spell today, clearly. Uh, shop critiques, and then I won't add anything. I'm not adding anything to the pages, so don't think I'm literally just adding a page saying, buy my course, please. Uh, that's, that, that's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm creating like a placeholder so that I can then go back in and kind of edit it and do all the wonderful things because I don't want to I don't want to have to like sit here and bore you guys by me typing it all out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to work with me. Actually no. Uh, no I'm not because I know how to do this now. So I'm going to go on to the course. I'm going to do exactly what I was doing before. Um pages the course add and then I want shop critiques why can i not spell that word <laughs> shop critiques there we go why was that so difficult i can't even spell that right good job for spell check jeez louise right okay um shop critiques and then boom but what i'm gonna do is um as you can see here you can like create a drop down menu just by clicking and dragging so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a work with me um, menu item, um, which, so from what I can see, you have to have it, uh, redirect into something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to, so I'm going to have it so that when they click on just the work with me, it will take them to the course page. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, no, I don't wanna do that. See, why are you doing this now? I'm gonna move that up there. I'm gonna create a um, work with me, add menu items to work with me. Right, okay, so, th so th this is how we do it. Okay, so the course, let's do this again. Uh, the course, there we go, let's add that. So let's get rid of that um, and then add, Da, 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 da. You can do that or you can click and drag it from what I understand. There we go. Yeah, okay. So we don't need, need to do all that. We can just click and drag it. So if I save that um, and then go back onto the doodah, onto the preview, then hopefully, there we go. So it's got a little drop down menu now. So rather than me having shock critiques, of course, blah, 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 it just has work, work with me, which is a lot easier. And also on the um, page here as well, it's got a little doodah. But if they just click that, it takes them to the course. So, which you can see is now got a nice little page saying, you can find the course here. And I shall click that and I won't click that because it'll take me out of it. But you get what I mean, right? So, 
that's what I'm sort of doing. I always do this. I always build the bare bones first. Then I go and do all the pretty stuff like the fonts and colors and everything like that. This video is already half an hour long. So I might actually cut this one where it is now. And I might do it in several parts because I'm feeling like if I do like a monster video, that it might be a little bit boring for you guys and you won't sort of want to watch it all the way through. So um, I'm going to I'm going to just do what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to sort out the menu first. I'm going to sort out the footer menu and then I'm going to call it a day. And then I'm going to start a new video where we're going to be doing the colours and all of that lovely stuff as well. So le let's carry on working on this menu. So the menu um, home about Steph work with me. I'm going to add um, blog. But before I do that, I need to go on to blog post. And this is where opening up. So all you do is right click, open up in a new tab. Um, I'm going to create a blog post. And I think from here we can create a blog. I don't there you go. Create a new blog. Um, so I need to literally create a new blog post, which is going to be difficult. Um, so handmade bosses a blog and I'm actually going to go and grab a blog post that um, I have made already so if you hang on just a second I'll be back in a minute okay so what I've done is I've actually gone on to my email back end um, because I actually do write a lot of blog posts in email form and I haven't really ever realized it to be honest so what I've done is I've literally just copied one of my emails and actually that needs to be adjusted now because I've made quite a bit these last month or so. Um, so I need to go through, I think, and kind of um, schedule out a load of blog posts. And I think that's kind of how I'm gonna do it. Um, I What I'm gonna do, thinking about it, is that I think I'm going to convert my YouTube content into blog content. Um, it's difficult for me because I don't like to just sit and write a blog post. That's not how I kind of roll. But what I do like to do is I like to do video. So it may be a case of I like, get my virtual assistant to tr to kind of convert my video content into blog posts. Um, that might be something that could work. But for now, what I've got is I've got um, a uh, basically a blog post from my email. So this is like a welcome email and I'm kind of just saying that um, you can have a full time Etsy shop. Um, so what I'm imagining is that someone, see this is where blog posts really come into their own. So what, I'm, what I've kind of done is I've typed in, can I have a full-time Etsy shop? And how I'm gonna do this is that, this is, this is kind of how blog posts work in my head. So I, because I know my target audience really, really well, I know what kind of questions they ask. And this is where knowing exactly who your target audience is really comes into its, into its own. So what I'm going to do is I am going to center this around the question, can you have a full-time Etsy shop? Because that is what this blog post is all about. And what I've done is I've typed in something here, which is like a little um, snippet of what Google will read. Because Google will read the first, I think it's 260 characters, basically from like there to there, I want to say, as an estimate. So... Um, I'm kind of already starting to center pages, blog posts, whatever I upload onto this in a very SEO smart way. So I, what I've done is that I've put, I'm gonna save you some time. The story proves that you can have a full-time Etsy shop. And the title is, can you have a, have a full-time Etsy shop? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, edit website SEO. And actually I don't need to do that because it already has um, like the uh, description here. It's 320 characters by the way, guys. Um, so I don't need to really do that because I'm already doing the SEO sort of in here and it automatically populates it down here. But if you, if you didn't, you can certainly e edit it here. Um, so I'm going to do that. Here's the answer, there we go. So anyone like looking on Google, typing in, can you have, have a full-time entry shop? Here's the answer, is gonna click on that. Now I don't, I'm not under the illusion that um, I am going to be showing up on page one straight away. How it kind of works is that you need to increase your domain score, which means the trustworthiness of your domain. And don't get me wrong, I know that I'm not gonna have that straight off the bat because I am a brand new domain. It's gonna take a good few months before I start kind of 
you know, getting into Google's good books, if you like, which then means that Google will go, OK, cool. Well, this, these, these guys are trustworthy. I'm going to show them on page one. I know for a fact that that is not going to happen straight away. And obviously you have the more trustworthy. So, you know, you have Etsy, you have Reddit going on here, you have Sellbrite here. So but then you 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 do start getting the blogs and you do start getting the people like me that are doing this. So I know that this is a question that people ask that there isn't a lot of you know blog posts being written about and that is exactly how i suggest that you guys write blog posts and also what i would say as well um is to always add a image if you can tags now these are not tags on etsy these are not tags on etsy guys these are tags for the, for your blog post so what it will mean is that people can sort your blog post via tags I the the only downside with this is that you have to use the same tags all the time and it's whether or not you kind of know you know what tags you're going to be using etc etc I would be tempted to kind of leave that alone for a little for a little bit uh, what I'm going to do is oh yeah it's not going to do that is it wow okay that's just literally got rid of all of that <laughs> Okay, we're back, right. Um, I don't know about you guys, but Google Chrome has this weird thing where it just crashes. So what I'm gonna do is I am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie to you guys actually. I'm gonna leave this video here for now. I think that, you know, we have already been going for 35 minutes. I can foresee me rambling on for a good hour. Um, essentially what I'm, what I'm doing or what I have done is that this is, this is how my menu will look and i'm gonna add this blog post i'm not gonna add an image in there yet because i need to uh go onto canva and create an, a, a square image and also you want to make sure that they are all the same size but what i would say is that um you have done that i'd add an ex an excerpt as well so i would do that like the first juicy paragraph is is what i would put on there i click save and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to navigation. I'm going to go add a menu item um, blog and then I'm going to go, I'm going to do blogs and I'm going to do how many bosses blog and I'm going to add that in and then I'm going to save that and then this is what it will look like. So it will look like that. And this is exactly what I kind of wanted. This is the bare bones of exactly what I was after. Um, the, I, I, I think to be honest, like I said, I'm going to leave this video here because I feel like I've got the bare bones of it going now. Anything extra that I do now will only be bits and bobs, you know, fiddling around with the menu, something like that. But I don't think I'm going to do anything. I'm going to try and film every single thing. I'm going to document every single thing that I do on this website for you. So you can see exactly how I'm going to do it. You know, if not for you to do your own website, it's more for you to kind of satisfy your curiosity as to exactly how it, how it all works and what I'm up to and what I'm doing. So I think it's good all around. So yes, I shall catch up with you guys later. Okay, everyone, I do hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I am gonna cut it short here, as I've said, because I'm gonna literally uh, video everything, film everything I am doing within that website, but it's gonna be a long video. So I'm gonna cut it short there. Please stay tuned for the next video of me doing it. And I shall take you along with me for the journey, <laughs> the very long journey of trying to set up this web, this website. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up if it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to get your 30 days to a kick butt Etsy shop workbook in the description below. It's very valuable. 76 pages worth of information so and it's free so do go and get that. Um, and yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.